Rabbit, rabbit, it is Thursday morning, December 1st. Meteorologist Kevin Skirpa in the Storm Watch 9 Weather Center. We have turned the page on November, which has wound up being a little over three degrees above normal, thanks to really the uncommon warmth of the first 12 days of this month. If you erase those 12 days, basically the rest of the month, the last 18, were right around average. You had some chillier days, we had some milder days. And so that above average temperature, at least local rule here that we have found, is whenever you have um, temperatures more than a degree and a half above normal for the month of November, it tends to give you below average snowfall for the winter. And it works really well. Same thing happens with colder than normal Novembers, more than a degree and a half colder than normal, you tend to have above average winters. So while a couple of systems could really doctor those numbers around, um, I think you look at the first couple of weeks of this month of December, and we had a system come through yesterday with mostly rain. We have a one Saturday, which is going to be mostly rain. And you have the next system next Tuesday, which also looks, at least right now, to be mostly rain. So it doesn't necessarily dictate temperatures per se, um, but it does. it is a significant trend that we have seen, uh, we being me. I don't know if the other four here in the Weather Center subscribe to this uh, type of correlation as much as I do, uh, just because I actually looked all the way back and didn't find an exception really until 1962, going backward. Um, so, you know, the last couple of winters were La Nina. We're La Nina this winter. We were below average for snowfall the last two winters. Doesn't mean we're not going to see snow. I mean, the lowest snowfall amount ever in Concord in 160 years is 27 inches of snow. So we're going to get snow. I just think as we get into January and February, if we have a lot of these initial snow to mixed events, um, it's going to lead to some icing as well, which is, you know, what nobody wants. I mean, no one's rooting for ice. I realize you can't, you know, you know shovel rain. I get that. But the colder months of January and early February contended, it's just, it's tough to keep it all rain. It winds up being a lot of mixing, which is also not a lot of fun, especially if you're traveling around the commutes.